Hello, it's Philip Taylor speaking from Richmond Green Chambers and today I'm looking at a book which has come to us from Jordan Publishing. It's part of the Family Law imprint and it's called Maintenance Matters. It's this book here. It's got a subtitle, The Guide to Periodical Payments Upon Divorce and Dissolution of Civil Partnerships and it's been written by Andrew Commins, who is a barrister at St John's Chambers. There's a very useful forward by Mr Justice Mostyn. There's the back of the book, there's the spine. You can see there's quite a lot of information in it. It follows very much along the lines of the standard Jordan publications. There's the index there, give you an idea of it. And then what you've got <coughs> are the standard paragraph numbering around the sides. You've also got a lot of footnotes which are extremely helpful in terms of the detail for where we are today because things have changed dramatically in the family jurisdiction. There's the actual front of the book and Mr Commons comes from uh, Chambers in Bristol and that's the foreword which is written by Mr Justice Mostyn who concentrates very much on the historic background. There's a preface. Yeah, he concentrates very much on the historic background to uh, maintenance and where we are today, those are the case, cases. And then we start right at the beginning, chapter one, how to use the guide. And the book itself, as I say, is a very useful guide for anybody in the family jurisdiction who's involved in what is now known as seeking the family uh, law financial remedies. We used to call them ancillary relief matters, but it's now family, um, actually financial remedies. My wife and I have written a review of this uh, book and we gave it the title, When Breaking Up is Hard to Do. And this is what we say about the book. Whether in marriage or civil partnership, breaking up is hard to do, especially if the money is involved, as it all almost invariably is in these uh, unfortunate cases. This book therefore will help practitioners and their advisors get to grips more easily with the multifarious aspects of periodical payments, that's maintenance pay payments as we used to know them, in the financial remedy proceedings which follow on from either divorce or the dissolution of a civil partnership. So with the changing face of the family court structure, which started in April 2014, and with the increasing insistence and reliance on mediation as a first step, uh, because of cuts and the impact of uh, what's happened to legal aid, uh, the opposing part, uh, parties in a breakup will sometimes resort to non-qualified as well as qualified advisors, and both of those types of people, ourselves as, as lawyers and obviously other people who are uh, advising, will find this book very handy as a source of practical advice on where we are um, today. It's been published recently, as I say, by um, Family Law with the imprint of Jordan's publishing. And the book also offers, by way of comparison, a grounded historic perspective on the various remedies relating to marital breakup mostly inequitable and flawed, I hasten to add, from the past, which have evolved since the Middle Ages, when things were perceived in a different way from the 21st century. So, the practical value of the book, we think, lies in the multiplicity of insights that it offers into the complexities of the current legal landscape on what we, what we call maintenance matters. Practitioners under pressure will appreciate the precise detail with which uh, Mr Cummins deals with, for example, the calculations and variations relating to periodical payments and orders in financial remedy proceedings. And there is a chapter in there specifically on uh, the calculation side of it, which is quite helpful if you can't achieve some sort of negotiated settlement, and that does of course happen quite regularly. Throughout the book, the spectre of inequality, of course, looms large, referring obviously to financial uh, inequality, and therefore there's an imbalance of power between the warring, warring parties. And to this end, the book provides assistance to the hard-pressed practitioner in dealing with the procedural 
and statutory context involved, with analysis and commentary of case law throughout elaborated upon by judicial opinion and guidance. And of course many of you will know that we do have um, a slightly different approach now with the unification of the court structure where you will get some indication from the judiciary as to the way that the case might go should you have to have a full hearing and that can concentrate minds wonderfully even with uh, possibly variation of periodic payments. Of particular note I think and especially useful to any advisor dealing with such fraught matters are the points of practice and theory which appear at the end of, of most of the chapters. A very helpful sort of quick quick sort of zip through what's happened at the end. The book therefore in short functions admirably we think as a practical manual for anyone advising on or pursuing a claim for a periodical payment order whether before or after legal proceedings have commenced and for those doing preliminary or follow-up research the book contains tables of cases, statutes and statutory instruments and is actually easily navigable, navigable I think is the proper word there, um, with a detailed table of contents and an index at the back. Here then is an essential reference tool for solicitors, barristers and mediators as well as accountants financial advisors and litigants in person and the law is cited as at March 2014 and I'm doing this review in the summer of 2014 just to show the book again there it is it's quite a light book it runs to under 500 pages there are some very useful forms at the back both for the civil partnership and the uh, general uh, main family side you can see again more forms quite useful to have them in one place instead of having to trawl through the um, the internet uh, to find them then you've got the civil procedurals the CPR and then you've got uh, some legislation the MCA 1973 and the Insolvency Act as well which of course is, comes in because remember that that's one way out of getting to pay um, as I say it's a very good book um, the point that I would make about these uh, points of practice and theory as set out there you can see that's just one example they are very good as a very quick guide I'd like to thank Andrew Commons and the um, people at St John's Chambers in Bristol and uh, Jordan's also based in Bristol for an excellent book do have a look at the Jordan's website and you'll see quite a lot of information concerning this uh, title there and thank you to all concerned for an excellent contribution to this area of uh, family law practice bye bye